Today I've reset every NBA franchise to their prime and we'll be tossing them into a single elimination do or die tournament. Now I've made a couple in their prime videos here on my channel before but in today's case it means the single best or one of the single best seasons in each franchise's history. For example the OKC Thunder are having a great season IRL but I think we can all agree the prime of their franchise was in 2012 when KD, Russ and Harden made a finals run. I selected one prime version of all 30 NBA teams using that lineup of thinking um feel free to tell me where i'm wrong down below but uh let's get into it shall we as per usual step one was simulating one season and using these resulting standings to build out this bracket with the one seeds both getting a buy through to the second round on the left side of our bracket the 1995 rockets grab the buy prime hakeem and clyde drexler guiding houston to a second straight ring in that season on the right side we've got the 2019 rap simulated super well and i guess it makes sense Kawhi was a monster the Ackham and Lowry did their thing. Super deep roster overall. But our first real matchup features the 2004 Timberwolves with prime MVP Kevin Garnett. Uh, maybe the IRL T-Wolves make a run this season and become their new prime. Who knows? They're taking on Dirk's 2011 Dallas Mavericks. An easy choice as they actually did win a ring. 2K Loki juices team around Dirk too. Interesting. I always feel the need to mention this, even though it probably goes without saying, but the higher seed, in this case, Minnesota, the eighth seed, they get home court advantage in each of these games, uh, the 19 Mavs are on the road. And on the road, Dallas actually kept it pretty close. A 14 point difference. Um, yeah, Minnesota, though, walking away with the dub. Every time we use prime MVP KG, he puts up ridiculous stat lines. 24, 24, 6, 3 blocks. Like, what am I seeing? Next up, we've got the 2008 Hornets representing the Pelicans franchise. CP3 was legit that season. Arguably robbed of an MVP. Super solid supporting cast. Okay. They're going to battle the 2002 Kings led by C-Web, Paige Stoyakovich, just a very strong starting five for this roster, but are they deep enough? Oh my goodness. Yes, they are. Let me answer my own question. Uh, they are an upset already. Okay. I I'm sorry, Pelicans fans. I knew the Kings were better than the 12 seed that they entered this tournament as uh, the Hornets Pelicans shot a lot of threes. Wasn't enough. Fresh off our first upset, coming in next as a four seed, uh, a bit surprising. The 2017 Golden State Warriors, surprising of course that they didn't simulate better yeah Steph KD I mean come on I feel a bit bad for their opponent the 1998 Utah Jazz but then again Carl Malone John Stockton not exactly the most sympathetic figures to root for I was absolutely shocked to see the 13 seed Utah Jazz were indeed making this a game but maybe I shouldn't have been surprised look at the lob Stockton to Malone they're a well-oiled machine the Warriors offensive possessions were ugly too needing a bailout from JaVale McGee and Carl Malone simply couldn't be stopped even by Draymond Green in the post. It was right down to the wire. Golden State needed a bucket with a late possession. He's going to find Steph inside. This is an ugly possession. Get out of there, Steph. Get Steph. Kick it out, my guy. Kick it up. <laughs> what was Steph Curry doing? Oh, no. Jeff Hornacek wide open. Nobody's going to contest his lay. I can't believe it, dude. The Warriors are in shambles. They have not been able to find a good shot here in the clutch at all, Steph. What are you going to do, my guy? I have a feeling he's going to shoot a three. Don't go inside on Stockton. That's not to your advantage. John Stockton has great defense. Draymond Green for three bricks it, and that's going to be game. A second straight massive upset to begin this video. Well, two of three anyways. Uh, the Warriors shot great from three. I thought that'd be their advantage, but I guess they couldn't defend. Moving along the 2013 grit and grind grizzlies are the six seed on the left side of the bracket not the flashiest roster on paper of course but apparently they've gotten the job done they're taking on an og squad the 1977 champion portland trailblazers bill walton mo lucas a bunch of guys you've probably never heard of because i haven't either let's go i had a lot of fun building i think three or four teams from the 1970s uh, uh, literally so many guys i've never heard of but all champions you'll see as the video plays out portland is the first one and no portland Portland fought admirably here. Man, it makes sense. Memphis is pretty good. They were the higher seed, a 12 point win. Bill Walton, finals MVP, 34, 10, and 8, albeit in a loss, but good effort. Cruising to a three seed during the sim, Nikola Jokic in the 2023 champion Denver Nuggets. I, I mean, they're an absolute unit. Uh, Jokic easily won MVP in our season sim, too. They've got a matchup with the 05 Suns out the gate. Speaking of two time MVP winners, Steve Nash and the boys really struggled during this sim. Interesting. 
Ah, darn it, dude. I was really trying to reverse jinx my uh, Steve Nash Phoenix Suns into having some success. It, it didn't work. Denver was a unit IRL last season and probably will be in this video too. Okie dokie. Nikola Jokic, 57 points, 17. What, what have I done? What have I done recreating this roster? I mentioned this team during the intro. It's the 2012 Thunder checking in next. Obviously some amazing top end talent on this roster, but I guess they aren't all that deep. And talk about unlucky. Those Thunder have to face the 2005 loaded Spurs in the first round. Tim Duncan and co. How in the world did they end up being a 10 seed? That's crazy. Probably the best version of the Spurs dynasty. Tim Duncan at his, at his absolute peak is prime. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. OKC fans, don't get mad yet. You had a really tough first round matchup, but they are up three with a, a minute and a half left. One bucket here. It's not going to end the game, but it could be a potential dagger. Russ, you know he loves to shoot. Oh, he draws a foul. Okay, that was really lucky. Yes, this is smart. Okay, no, it's not. I, I didn't see Russ is in the post, so he's going to take this shot. It's a guarantee. I mean, that's a pretty good matchup over Tony, and he makes it. Let me stop doubting prime Russell Westbrook. Okay, Russ man came through in the clutch for the Thunder. They need one stop now, and this game's probably over. Can they contain Kendrick? Can you guard Tim Duncan? That was a terrible attempt by Tim. He did it. Congrats. Oh my word, Tim Duncan with a Kevin Garnett-esque stat line, but this time it was in an L. While KD had 38, 12, and 6. Good dub, OKC. Our final matchup on the left side of the bracket, I decided to roll with the Shaq Kobe 01 Lakers. Obviously plenty of choices for the Lakers prime but uh, did I make the right call? Either way, we've got a battle of LA. I may have taken an L here, choosing the 2006 Clippers led by Elton Brand, but uh, I think this roster is fun, so that's worth something. I just feel like I always use the uh, Lob City Clippers, and I mean, it's not like they ever won anything. They never made it past the second round either, so anyways, let's move on. And you know what? You know what? The Clippers being a 2C, did I make the wrong call with the 06 Clippers? Maybe, but they actually kept this, well, 19 point game. They kept it close enough. Uh, Kobe be with 43, 3, and 7. Shaq, 38, 14, and 8. What are these stat lines? Thankfully, the Clippers didn't cause our bracket to be complete chaos as we had the Lakers advance. They'll face the Thunder, the Nuggets, Grizzlies. The bottom left region actually chalk. The top left region, though, I mean, it's all types of chaos. Both the Kings and the Jazz, a 12, 13 seed advance. They're going to play each other. The Rockets out of the bye will get the 0-4 Timberwolves. But before we get to any of that, we, of course, have to dive into the first round on the right side of the bracket. Let's go. Hey, uh, Winnie, uh, I got bad news for you, okay? Uh, you're not growing any bigger, all right? So, like, you're absolutely the cutest dog ever. I'm not insulting you, but size-wise, you're basically a large cat, okay? I'm really sorry to break that news to you. It's not all bad news, though. Um, it's not, because the Detroit Lions, they made the NFL playoffs, and, and uh, you know, a lion is a big cat, so... Indeed, the NFL playoff matchups are set. The NBA season is in full swing. Underdog fantasy is simply the place to be right now. Leading up to the weekend, you can build out pick -em entries for any combination of all six wild card round matchups. Win or lose, I do think Matt Stafford is going to put in work against his old squad. Same goes for Tyreek against the Chiefs, and Isaiah Pacheco has been great on the ground all season. I uh, don't recommend you copy my picks. Okay, I'm, ju I'm just warning you now, but you know, it'll be fun to watch at least. In addition, Underdog offers countless drafts you can compete in that are super quick to complete and give you the chance to earn parts of a massive prize pool. If you use my code JCAN, J-A-Y-C-A-N. When you sign up at Underdog, they'll match your first deposit up to $100, as well give you a mystery pick -em special. Once again, that's code JCAN. It's not too late to start winning with Underdog. Link and all other information is down below. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, you're mad because I said Matt Stafford is going to tear up your lion. You didn't even know they were your lions until like a minute ago, Winnie. All right, you chill. To the right side of the bracket we go, starting off with LeBron and the 2016 Cavs, an eight seed. Um, yeah, hard to bet against him and Kyrie, though, boy. They're elite. And they're taking on our oldest squad, the 1958 championship-winning St. Louis Hawks, led by Bob Pettit. Fun fact, this was the last team without a black player to win an NBA champion. Wait, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not a fun fact. Like, it's it's a fact, you know, like trivia, but I didn't... It's not... Uh, it's not fun. I... I can, can we just move along? Get him out of here. Get out. Okay, an actual interesting fact about the St. Louis Hawks. They drafted and then traded Bill Russell at the draft. He would later say he didn't want to play in St. Louis because of the overwhelming racism. So, uh, yeah. Once again, not a fun fact. The St. Louis Hawks got blown out in this game. I'm going to stop talking about all this right now. Wow, Cliff Hagen, 48, 9, and 6, but it wasn't enough. That is great. A surprising five seed is up next. The 1998 Charlotte Hornets, led by Glenn Rice, Vladi Divac, 
Bucks? Sure, this is a team I can get behind. They take on the 2021 Bucks, who, man, another surprisingly low seeded team. I mean, Giannis, Middleton, Drew, that roster was stacked, dude. I would love to see this 1998 Charlotte Hornets team make a run. I am on their bandwagon. I, I'm also very nervous for them. Oh my gosh. No, I, I guess I'm not. I, I guess we don't need to be nervous. Bro. They just won by 20. Oh my, Milwaukee, you went out sad. Glenn Rice, 20. Now look at all these contributions. Del Cur Vladi had a triple double. It's over. This is the Cinderella team of the video. Yep. In 1983, the 76ers won a championship. Two years later, with most of that core still intact, they added rookie Charles Barkley. Just a ridiculous roster. I mean, come on. And this is another shocking heavyweight battle in round one. I went with the historic 1986 Celtics to represent Boston. Somehow they're a 13 seed. Can they redeem themselves here in the tourney? No, they they cannot. That is a third, almost a 30 point. Uh, you know what? This one's on me. I have used the 86 Celtics, even though they're so great on paper, they always seem to fail whenever I use them in these videos. I swear, next time I, I'm gonna use the Bill Russell Celtics. It's over. All right, I I've made the decision. The 1996 Bulls, an easy choice as the prime of Chicago hoops. They didn't simulate amazingly, but with MJ Pippen, Rodman all at their peak, this is obviously a great squad. And they'll be taking on the 1972 Knicks, smack dab in the middle of a pair of championships. I, I mean, it's a pretty nice roster, I can't lie, but uh, does their game translate to the modern era? Lord have mercy, here we go. Yep, yep, MJ's done. All right, uh, MJ stands, you, you, I guess you can click off this video. Wait, he just scored a bucket. I don't know what you want from me, dude. The 96 Bulls won 72,000 games, but sure, 2K says their first round exited in this tournament. Um, It's out of my hands. In a loss, the big, oh my gosh, the big homie Mike, 15 points on six, six turnover? What? 2K, why have you massacred our boy like this? Always a strong simulating team. The 2004 Pistons are a three seed led by Chauncey, Rip, the Wallaces, Tayshawn Prince. Man, that is a deep squad. They'll be facing the 2013 Heat in round one. Dude, LeBron, a couple tough regular season Sims in this video. Can uh, him and D Wade make some magic happen here? Thankfully, LeBron has one team that's advanced. Uh, I mean, thankful for LeBron stands. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think he's going to go two for two here. Oh, wait, how dare I doubt the king? He's got, yep, yep, the Heat are within two here. Now, Detroit is still in control. Oh, no, Tayshawn is wide. <laughs> okay, all right, Tayshawn, that might be a dagger already. Chauncey, though, he's wide open. What are the Heat doing? He missed it, but Ben Wallace on the glass. That is what Ben Wallace does, man. He's a Hall of Famer. The 04 Pistons shot six of 29 from three. That is terrible. How did they win? This is so awesome, dude. Our next matchup features the 1973 ABA championship winning Indiana Pacers, George McGinnis, Mel Daniels, a wild roster. So much fun. What a time to be alive. That being the 1970s dude, and they're meeting the 1978 NBA champion, Washington Bullets, another roster jam full of OGs, Elvin Hayes, Wes Unseld, and company. This is hilarious. I can't believe we actually got this matchup just totally at random with the bracket. We have one OG 1970s team advancing to be sure. Let's go. And unfortunately, it's not a clutch finish, but uh, it's going to be the Pacers. 1973 ABA champs. Let's do it. Our final first round matchup, we've got the 2009 Orlando Magic as a two seed. Good for them, man. Prime Dwight leading a strong supporting cast. They made the finals. It makes sense. Although the 2002 New Jersey Nets, uh, Jason Kidd, also led them to the finals. Well, they performed horribly in the season sim and they might get blown out here. Yeah, I uh, accidentally skipped right through it. The magic indeed a 23, 4, 5, so, something like that. A big victory. That's all that matters. Those magic will move on to face the 1973 Pacers. We actually have two 1970s teams to correct what I said earlier as the Knicks did upset the Bulls. Cool. They'll play the Pistons. While in the top right region, it was completely chalk. The Raptors after their bye will face LeBron's cap. The uh, Hornets, I forgot, they were the favorite, but they do feel like they're on a Cinderella run. We'll see if they keep it going against the Sixers. And with that, we're off to the Sweet 16 of our bracket. Will Hakeem's Rockets just run the table? I don't know, dude. Will we have one of our upset teams advance? I'm so excited. And here we go, our first second round matchup on the left side. Kevin Garnett and his ridiculous stat line taking on Hakeem Clyde Drexler. They were the one seed for a reason, folks. But they're not out of this game yet. Sam Cassell pulling up from the elbow, bricking Hakeem on the glass. They're up six minute and a half left. Okay, Minnesota, you've got another life. Oh no, KG's going up against Hakeem. He gets a step and scores. Yep, yep. The Rockets got the matchup. Michael Olawakendi. There goes KG on the double team. Hakeem's got to kick it out. Wait, KG's doubling all over the place. Playing super aggressive, but Robert Ori. Oh, that's the one guy you don't want to leave open, man. 
man. Kevin Garnett, 27, 17, 4, 3, 6. My man just fills it up, but this time in and out. Up next, we had a pair of upsets in round one, and now they meet in round two. The 13 seed Jazz taking on the 12 seed Kings. Uh, Sacramento, definitely a better roster, but who knows? If a team beats the 2017 Warriors like these Jazz did, then we have no choice but to uh, but to respect them going forward. That makes no sense. Foul outs are off. Injuries are off. Oh my gosh, their conscience is off. I don't even know who that was, but that was a huge three. The Utah Jazz clearly just have some of Michael's secret stuff. They shot 37 free throws. I, I it, It's over. I'll say it again. I don't even know if it matters who wins the rest of these matchups on the left side of the bracket. Clearly, the Utah Jazz are built different. Um, Dude, look at the 2023 Nuggets. They were so good. I mean, they still are Nikola Jokic. A anyways, can he be stopped? No, he cannot. And your triple-double put up on DPOY Marcus Gasol's dome. The Nuggets won by uh, almost 40 points there. Yeah. Our final left side Sweet 16 matchup. And boys, this should be an absolute doozy. The 01 Lakers, Kobe Shaq versus the KD Russ Thunder. Ooh, I, I kind of hate that. We're going to lose one of these teams. Unfortunately, that's the way a do or die tournament goes. And neither of these teams wanted to be sent home. They were battling back and forth. Lead changes everywhere, heading into a very clutch finish. Here we go, boys. I told you we were heading towards a clutch finish and actually super low scoring game here. 92 all. Russ body Derek Fisher, but Fish got to stop. The Lakers have a chance. Oh, Fisher back down the other way. A floater? That would, uh, I mean, it worked. Okay, fair enough. KD should not have given that rock up. Russ is going inside. Actually, he's got a pretty good matchup. I he's taken every shot, but he kind of should be. Kobe, do not turn this ball over. He's got a good look from three. He's pulling up on the fade, and he's bricking it. Fortunately for the Lakers, Kendrick Perkins just bricked one of two free throws. I'm not sure they're getting a better look than the one Kobe just had, though, and that would have put him up two. All right, they can tie. They can take a lead shack back door. That's a great a great play. Great pass by Derek Fisher. Can he get one more bucket here to go? He's got the match matchup. He's got the drive, nope. and he doesn't have the finish. No timeouts for the Lakers, though. We've got OT, baby, and we don't watch OT around here, so whatever happens, happens. Oh my gosh, the Thunder. The Thunder did it just like that. A bit anticlimactic, but 21 to 6 in OT. OKC does survive, man. Oh, and uh, Kevin Durant scored 55 points on 19 of 40 shot attempts. What in the world? That means we're going to have those 2012 Thunder advancing for the region. They'll have to take on the Nuggets. Uh, that's a tall task right there. Well, for the top left region, we'll have a battle between Hakeem and the Rockets against the Utah Jazz, who simply cannot be stopped right now. But before all that, we've got the Sweet 16. On the right side of our bracket, it's Lebronto, ladies and gentlemen. This time, though, Kawhi on the wraps might change the outcome. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready. Just I'm already cutting into this thing, boy. That is, what in the world are they? That's like almost a 60 point win. Are you serious? I'm serious as a heart attack. Okay, and now that Lebron stands have probably clicked off this video after that blowout loss. We've got the Hornets. We've got the Sixers. Man, Charlotte could be in trouble here, but I hope not. They're my Cinderella pick. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, we are under two minutes left. The Hornets are down six, but they get a score here. Then maybe a stop. Del Curry's wide open. That was a great offensive set. Glenn Rice is coming off a screen. If he's open, you already know. You already know Glenn is scoping. The Hornets keep chucking threes. Matt Glenn Rice is open again. Dr. J's laid on the close. <laughs> Glenn Rice is amazing, dog. What in the world? It's okay, though. If they hit a fourth straight three-pointer, this game is tied. I mean, the strategy is impeccable. No, what? No, no. Who do? What was that? Do what was that shot? Absolutely nothing worse than when some dumb AI logic just ruins a game down the stretch. The Hornets were shooting a bunch of threes. It was working, man. One of our two 1970s representatives, the Knicks from 72. They're the heavy underdogs here, but who knows, man? The 04 Pistons are tough. But the 72 Knicks are... I don't, I, I don't know. This result is genuinely, I, I'm shocked. This game isn't a blowout. As you can see, it's not a clutch finish. It's a nine point. The, the New York Knicks, they just handled business. What? Business. Will we get an all 1970s battle for the bottom right region of our bracket? Or will the magic, the favorites hold on in this game? I'm excited to find out. Oh my gosh, bro. I can't, I, dude, I just said it. I, I fully expected to jump into this game and see the magic dominating. What is happening? They simulated to be a seven seed, not like, you know, not a heavyweight during the season sim, but here they are. They're about to be 2-0 and oh in the tournament. <laughs> what was that shot, man? The ABA Pacers actually shot a bunch of threes, but missed basically all of the... This game was right here for the taking, but the Magic couldn't do it. And that leaves us with a super awesome matchup to settle our bottom right region. 72 Knicks, 73 Pacers. I can't believe it, dude. Well, up in the top right, an absolute behemoth matchup. The 2019 Raptors, the 85 Sixers. Yell. All together, we are into the 
Elite Eight of our bracket, and we're going to go back to the left side to start things off. The Rockets, the Jazz, the Nuggets, the Thunder. We're going to get it all done right here, right now. Beginning with the aforementioned 1995 Houston Rockets. They had the first round by. They took care of business in round two. Hakeem's a 98. Clyde's a 91. Yep, that's a, that's a roster to behold, my friends. And they're taking on the 1998 Utah Jazz, who, don't get me wrong, are a pretty good roster with Carl Malone, John Stockton, but uh, they're not great. They just, they just keep winning, man. Why should we doubt them? Okay. Uh, that's why we should doubt them because they're not very good. Houston just destroyed them. All right. A bit anticlimactic. Clyde had 33. Dude, Hakeem only had 14 points. If you lose to the Rockets when Hakeem only has 14 points, that's like, that's a tough out. The Rockets advance through to the final four. Will they play the Nuggets there on the left side of our bracket? Um, it's, it's kind of a good bet. Nikola Jokic cannot be stopped, but maybe the uh, OKC Thunder can continue their run. I doubt they'll be able to hold uh, Nikola Jokic. Good luck. Kendrick Perkins, but maybe they can outscore their problems. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yep. I, I said it. I said maybe the Thunder can outscore their problem. Looks like they're doing it, man. 117, 114. No defense being played, but the Thunder are in control. Minute and a half left. You know Russ is shooting every shot he touches. That's a good bucket over Jamal. I think Jokic probably got them, but uh, that's a two. All right. They might need threes here. I'm kind of low-key hating on Russell Westbrook. The fact that he takes every single shot for OKC in the clutch, but if he keeps getting good looks, I mean, what am I supposed to say? He finally gives the rock up. Kevin Durant finally gets a touch and look Look what happens. That's why I beg Russell Westbrook to pass the ball. Huge shot from KD in the clutch. Jamal Murray is killing a lot of clock. They're going to dump it into Jokic for two, but uh, now they need a miracle. And they're not going to get it. The OKC Thunder continue a very strong run in this video, man. Russ was facilitating in the clutch. That is what we love to see. Nikola Jokic couldn't be stopped 40, 14, and 11, but it's in and out. Also, Kevin Durant just had his second straight 50-point game. Um, Yes, the man is built different. Our final format matchup is set on the left side of the bracket. We go to the right where Kawhi, Pascal, Kyle are. It is easy to see why this Toronto Raptors team is an absolute unit, dog. But copy paste that commentary over to the 1985 76ers who in fact have 290 plus overall players. Maybe they're not quite as deep, but that's pretty good, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Raptors in trouble late. They're down four minute and a half left. This might be Philadelphia's time machine revenge for 2019. Can they get a stop on Kawhi this time in the clutch? Charles Barkley. Nope. Nope. He cannot. The Sixers can really, they, they should really not shoot quickly here. Like be smart, Philly. By be smart. Sure. I guess I mean, feed the rock into Moses Malone. Serge Ibaka, really good defend. Moses with the post fade from the mid range. Oh my word. I wasn't familiar with your game, Moses. A freaking ballsy shot for Moses Malone that ended up being the dagger. Philly could not make a three, could not make a free throw yet somehow took the dunk. We've got a team from the eighties advancing to the final four and we're guaranteed one from the 70s, George McGinnis, Mel Daniels, Freddie Lewis, this ABA Pacers. Man, they mean business. I might have juiced their ratings uh, just a little bit, but it's fine. Trust me, like, it's all good. The 72 Knicks also have some magic in this video. Jerry Lucas with Walt Frazier, Dave DeBush here, Willis Reed, Bill Bradley. I think that dude became like a US Senator or something. A anyways, another fun fact. And our final fun fact of the video, um, actually no guarantees. Y you never know. Indiana, they are taking a W a seven point game. It was close without being a clutch finish, but the Knicks run comes to an end. As in reverse order of what we just saw, the 1973 Pacers win the bottom right region. They'll take on the 1985 Sixers who win the top right. Well, over on the left side, the 2012 Thunder complete a very impressive run and they'll face the victors of the top left, the 1995 Rockets. Yep. All together, we have four separate decades represented in our final four. I just, you know what? I love to see it, dude. It's some form of symmetry or like the opposite of symmetry diversity. That's the word I'm looking for. And it, should we just get to it? The final four? Let's go. Both these teams just proved something in the Elite Eight that Russell Westbrook can facilitate in the clutch for the Thunder and that the Rockets can win even without Hakeem dominating. Who wins out here in the final four? Well, to my absolute delight, we would need a clutch finish to answer that question as defending their home court, the Houston Rockets played super well, but OKC hung tight, would never relent down the stretch. And we've got a three-point game. Okay, Houston, again, the favorite on home court. They are up in this game. They could guide this thing home nice and easy. Nothing is easy against this Thunder team. They just shut down Nikola Jokic last game, but that's a huge three. Vernon Maxwell.
Uh oh, this is an ugly possession. Russ, he's clean. He had a good look for three and missed it. KD on the glass. They should really bring Surge on the double. Nah, they're letting him keep going to work on Kendrick. Per <gasps> Kendrick did that. And, and, and then got dunked on. Kendrick got dunked on. He almost got a stop. Kenny Smith knocking down all his free throws. Ice cold. Uh, the Thunder are out of timeouts. They need a three right here. Oh my gosh, and they got it. Kevin Durant wide open. It's over. 41 this time for KD, but he shot nine of 22 from the field. Looks like one of 10 from three. Yeah, that's not great. The Houston Rockets await whatever team wins this matchup in the final four. They are an absolute buzzsaw, but both these teams have been as well. Let's see and it. And okay, the Pacers run comes to an end. Um, That's that's two, but they lasted longer than I thought they would, honestly. Shout out to George McGinnis, one of the OGs. He carried, but his carry job did come up short as we've got our championship matchup. NBA teams in their prime. It's the 1995 Houston Rockets, the 1980 five Philadelphia 76ers. Let's go. With Hakeem Olajuwon on one side, Moses Malone on the other. This was a battle of all-time bigs leading their squads. And of course, it did not disappoint. With each side throwing haymakers all 48 minutes. Actually, I should have said all 46 and a half minutes because we do have 90 seconds left. Houston is in control. Dr. J go to work. Uh, okay, yeah, he had a mismatch. Fair enough. Moses versus Hakeem. This is it. Championship on the line. Moses stepping yeah. back and nailing it in Moses' grill. Come on, man. Philly keeps possession after the block, but they're not going to get a good shot here. Andrew Tony from way downtown. Oh my gosh. Nah, the drama, dude. It doesn't end. He's going to step in. He's going to work. He wants Moses. He sees barbecue chicken right now in the post. Uh-oh, but Moses is playing defense. Hakeem killing clock. Uh, he handed the ball off. Clyde, do you of a miracle three. <laughs> what the? I did not adjust the sliders. What is happening? I say that because I know anyone watching to the end of this video is going to accuse me in the comment section. I have it on normal difficulty. I have slide. I have not touched the sliders. Teams do not hit shots like this. Usually Clyde in the clutch. All right, man. Kenny Smith hit a couple clutch free throws. No more timeouts for the Sixers. They need another miracle three here. It's Mo Cheeks. He's going to miss and that's going to be it. The 1995 Houston Rockets on the back of Hakeem Olajuwon. Chuck, that shot was far too little, far too late, my guy. They back up their two-time championship status from the 90s by returning to their prime in the modern era and dominating this do-or-die tournament. A couple massively clutch plays down the stretch from Hakeem, one of the greatest shots I've ever seen from Clyde Drexler, and once again, it is the 1995 Rockets who win the entire tournament. They had the one seed, the bye. I guess it makes sense. I'm always on the lookout for a Cinderella underdog type story. Story. Uh, the Rockets obviously weren't that, but like who doesn't love Hakeem, dog? Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know what you thought of it down below.